going to try something new this time around, just doing a voiceover with various semi-related shots. Enjoy! Well, here we are, halfway through the assembly. That means I'm like 90% finished with the project, seeing as how the first six months were spent working on the conceptual design, the next six months were spent working on the prototyping and iterative design, and the three months after that had my 3D printer working 24-7 to make all the necessary parts. You know, in addition to me waiting for AliExpress to deliver the hardware and a GLC PCB to manufacture the sensor boards. And during that time, I also designed and assembled the side panels, complete with a mini PC, touchscreen, and DAC. And finally, the last two months or so, I've spent working on the framework and uh, particularly on the keys. So here we are. At the moment, the framework is basically done. So all the ribs have their heat inserts and felt in place. The guide rails have the guide pins and felt. And the back panels are complete with all the sensor boards and LED strips. As should be obvious, I even took the time to assemble everything together just for this shoot, as in order to finish assembly I'll have to disassemble the entire key bed so as to put the key levers and the Hickman action in place. And the keys have all been printed out and have been through the acetone vapor smoothing process, meaning that I just need to clean them up, insert the heat inserts and uh, guide felt, along with sanding the key tops to give them that proper textured feel I talked about. Uh, perhaps this update would have looked better with the keys already in place, but I figured it's not too much to have to wait until the build is uh, fully finished before adding in the keys, you know, <laughs> and give something to look forward to. Uh, speaking of the key mechanism, that's what's in these containers right here. All of the rotors and other parts are all ready to be processed, but that'll take a while. I did switch out some of the center connections to be done with uh, hard PTFE uh, bushings instead of felt ones, but that still leaves me with uh, around 900 felt bushings to complete by hand. So, As for the Hickman action, that's still printing. Uh, considering everything, I'm probably going to need to do a full maintenance on the printer after this. Pretty sure it did more printing during the last year than it has during the other six or so years I've had it combined and probably multiplied by three. All right, and uh, in case you were wondering about how much plastic this all took, well, I'm currently on roll 43 and have around four or so more to go. Now granted, probably around a third of that uh, was used for prototyping, but that still ends with the piano consuming around 30-ish rolls. So yeah, <laughs> this would have cost quite a bit if I didn't have a 3D printer on hand. Anyway, yeah, this is pretty much it. A bit short, but that's to be expected from an update video. Next up is uh, putting together the key levers and the Hickman action, then the required tune-up to make sure that everything is uh, working as intended, followed by probably some more firmware work. Um, with time allocated somewhere in between to finish designing and ordering the controller PCB that needs to talk to the uh, sensor boards and the uh, MIDI uh, connections and output all of that to the computer. All of that will of course be done off camera. Next video will be the finished piano, hopefully complete with a simple piece I can play to show it how it works. Or at the very least I can play a couple scales. I can at least do that much. Anyway, until next time.